Good evening, gentlemen. Charming. Oh, peace, Charles. He'll grow in you. Oi! Catherine, you fussock! Get back here! Paddy needs a drink. How fares the search? Maths and maps are not cutting it. What of your local contacts? We'll need to earn their trust before they'll share what they know. <sighs> I have an idea on how we might be affecting that. There's a man who's taken to enslaving natives. Rescue them, and they'll owe us. Do you know where they're being held? Afraid not. Benjamin Churchwell, he's a finder and a fixer. He's also on your list. And there I was, wondering whom I might solicit next. Well done. Seems like we're not the only ones looking for Mr. Church. Damn it, he could be anywhere. What do we do? We find him. Come. I'll show you how. to meddle, even if we've the best of intentions. But if you could have seen it, they were surely drunk carrying on like that, and during the day, no less. The Boston Gazette, your best source for news. 
scandalous behavior from one who aims to be a surgeon. Not likely if he keeps up such carousing. Truly a shameful display. Benjamin's parents would be mortified. Perhaps I should send someone to retrieve him before he damages his reputation beyond repair. They stumbled off to the northeast, no doubt in search of a tavern or some other place of ill repute. Start questioning those in the street. I'm headed for higher ground. Time to take a listen. With luck, one of those people knows what became of Benjamin. suffered a decline in character. Indeed. All manner of Arifs and natty lads now walk the streets. Why, just earlier today I had a run-in with some. Do tell. It was down by the church. A group of men comes rushing through when one of them suddenly falls to the ground, all torn up. I thought about going to see if he needed help, but a look from one of them changed my mind. Probably for the best. Those aren't the sort of people you want to get mixed up with.
past the priors, but they all plead ignorance. Look at that! They're lying! Aye. Well, what can I do? Threats light off them, and I'll not deign to grovel. Actions speak louder than words, my friend. Arrest one and put him in stocks. See if he's so glib then. To do so without cause will set them singing songs about us. Last thing the city needs is town criers complaining about our abuse of authority. And forget it. The crime is done. The killer's gone. Those who know won't share their secrets. If the city wishes to harbor scoundrels, let them pay the price for it. to do the deed. From what I hear tell, his work usually involves quite a bit of screaming. Which reminds me, we'd best not buy any meat tomorrow. <laughs> Good call, that. See, Charles? We'll have church in no time, just as I said we would. If I might ask, sir, where did you learn to do all this? It is a requirement when you are raised in the manner that I was. Perception is fundamental to the order. It guides the feet when running and climbing, informs the hands when striking and fighting. But most important, it transforms the senses, and we begin to know the world in a different way. well guarded. We need to slip past them. I'll have to find the key. Wait here.
Here we are then. Why must you always make these things so difficult, Benjamin? Merely provide me with recompense, and all shall be forgiven. I'll not pay for protection I don't need. Clearly, you do require protection. Else we wouldn't be here. How very gooch. Now, what shall we do about our guest? Maybe. I'll take his hands. Put an end to his surgery. Maybe. I'll take his tongue. Put an end to his waggling. Or maybe... I'll take his cock. Put an end to his fucking us. So many options. I can't possibly decide. Take all three. Now, hold a moment. Perhaps I was... Hasty in refusing you earlier. I'm so very sorry, Benjamin. But that door has closed. Be reasonable, Silas! I rather think I was. But you took advantage of my oh. generosity. I won't be made a fool a second time. <sighs> I fear I lack the constitution to bear witness to such barbarism. Come find me when you're finished, Cutter. You'll regret this, Silas! Do you hear me? I'll have your head! No. I rather think you won't. Commoners do it, Cutter. I'm proud of it. Maybe you'll get lucky and pass out. Though I dare say I'll do my best to ensure that doesn't happen. Just a quick little swipe and no more is. How's that sound, Mr. Church? Who are you? Haytham Kenway, at your service. I... I don't understand. Why are you here? Uh, walk with me, Mr. Church, and all will be explained. Johnson's told me what you intend. As it happens, the man who held me is the same one that you seek. His name is Silas Thatcher. That fancy lad is our slaver. Don't let his velvet tongue deceive you. A crueler and more vicious creature I've never known. What can you tell me of his operation? He hosts at least a hundred men, more than half of whom are redcoats. All this for some slaves? <laughs> Hardly. The man's a commander in the King's troop, in charge of the Southgate Fort. We need to find a way inside. Hmm, let me think on it. In the meantime, I'll attend to our final recruit. John Pitcairn's our man. I'll take you to him.
State your business. New recruit. More kindling for the pyre, eh? Well, go on then. How'd you manage that? Did you forget, sir? My commission is with General Braddock. When I'm not attending to you, of course. planning to announce yourself, or did you hope my men Sir, wouldn't notice your arrival? if you'll allow me to explain. Ho <laughs> ho! By all means. I should like very much to hear this. I have not deserted, sir. I am here under Commander Amherst's orders. Show me a letter bearing his seal, and you might be spared the gallows! I have no such thing. The nature of my work, sir, it's... It's the sort of thing best not put to paper. Hey, them. General Braddock? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Wolves often travel in packs. Master Pitcairn won't be here for but a few weeks. I shall return him to his proper post once our work is finished. The devil's work, no doubt. It's bad enough my superiors have insisted. I grant you use of Charles. But they said nothing about this traitor. You'll not have him. Edward, listen to reason. We're done here. See these gentlemen out. Well, that didn't go as I expected. And to think I used to call him brother. What now? Well, they'll chase us off if we try and return. We're done with this camp. As luck would have it, so are they. Come along. What are you planning? To steal Master Pitcairn. What? You'll see. Now. When I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol and lure them into a dead end. The news of our times in today's post Where shall we head next? Perhaps down Marlborough. No. Its residents are too content. Their homes are nice, their days untroubled. What of Lynn or Ship Street? Yes. Those fresh arrived are often soon in dire straits. They're more likely to seize upon an opportunity to fatten their purses and feed their young. Scoundrels, one and all! Fire on you and your false war! <laughs> After him! Oh! 
Unhand him, Edward. Ah, uh, you again. Let us go. And John Pitcairn with us. <laughs> I will not have my authority challenged. Nor I. Put them all in chains. Join them on their fool's errand. And when you find yourself lying I assume broken, you've good reason for causing all this madness. What is it you require of me? I'll explain everything on the way. If I may, I was curious about your past with Braddock. You two clearly have a history. Edward was one of us upon a time. I considered him a close friend. He was brave and bold in ways few men are. But everything changed at the siege of Bergen op Zoom. We had lost the fortress to the French, and were in the midst of egress. There was a skiff hidden at the port with which we planned to make our escape. As we drew near, a young man and his family came upon us. Begging for safe passage. I consented. But Edward refused. The young man called him Craven then. So Edward killed him and all the rest. Even the children. To this day, I don't know why. Was this the first time he'd struck out? Or had I simply never seen it before? Either way. Things were never the same after that. We campaigned together a few more times, but each outing was more disturbing than the last. He killed and killed. Enemy or ally, civilian or soldier, guilty or innocent. It mattered not. If he perceived one to be an obstacle, they died. He maintained that violence was a more efficient solution. It became his mantra. And it broke my heart. I had no idea. He hides it well, and intimidates into silence any who discover him. Those who persist have a tendency to find... misfortune. And we should stop him. I suppose you're right. But I maintain a foolish hope that he might yet be saved and brought back round to reason. I know. I know. It's a silly thing to believe that one so drenched in death might suddenly change. I'm sorry to have brought us up. It was not my intent to sour you. 
Nonsense. We are brothers now. There should be no secrets between us. Hope you and the general find a way to patch things up. Gentlemen, I believe I found the solution to our problem. Or rather, Odysseus has. How do you? Are you a new guy? The Greek hero, you lobcock. Allow me to explain. We enter Silas Fort. Under the pretext of kinship, once inside, we spring our trap, free the captives, and kill the slaver. <laughs> dodgy, dodgy. I like it. Then, let us begin. First, we need to find ourselves a convoy. should be here soon. We'll attack on my signal. Understood, sir. If we time this right, we can catch them all unawares. The Boston! <clears throat> Charles, you and William to serve as vanguard. Let no man reach us. What about me? You and John will follow from a distance and keep watch over us. I'll signal you when I have need of your services. We're here to help you, along with those held inside Southgate Fort. Free me. Not until we're inside the gate. I can't chance an inspection of the gate going wrong. I'll see you safe. You have my word. Do you know anything of Silas' operation? How many men we might expect? The nature of their defenses? You must be rather important to him if you were given your own escort. Sir, we've enemies ahead. Shall I engage them? No. Let Jonathan and Thomas take care of it. As you wish. I wish you'd trust us. Though I suppose it's only natural for you to be wary. So be it.
Hope, identify yourself. Where is Lieutenant Jones? What's the meaning of this? Engage the enemy! On your guard, men. Of course. Bringing fresh meat, eh? Of course. Come in. Only say the word and I'll cut them down. One moment there. Engage the enemy. Who's your officer? All clear. Good evening, gentlemen. State your business. Delivery for Silas. Go on, then. See? I'm freeing you just as I said I would. Now, if you'll allow me to explain... Let her go. But she'll give us away. No, she won't. What's the plan? Free the captives and avoid detection. What of Silas? He dies. I know when you're ready to strike. when you're ready to strike.
Greetings. How fares the watch? Who, are you? Who have we got? Thomas there? Smith, what newly are recruited. You talking about? Arrived prisoner. from London just last week, in fact. And you're to prisoner with us. So there said Silas. No mm. Stop I assume soldier. it's all rather straightforward. I said watch for disturbances. Ensure order is maintained. Merchandise? Oh. No, I, you don't know. I you don't need to. No you my apologies. Of course. Certainly, sir. Upon my honor. I must say, the weather in Boston is much fairer than back home. Wait until winter. Or summer, for that matter. The heat and wet suffocate the man. And his uniform. <laughs> Clearly shown for the climbs. Too thin. Too heavy when it's hot. Hey fellas, apologies for me tardiness. Um, Cutter had me working late. You know Cutter? <laughs> well, who do you think got me this post? We're like brothers, me and him. Oi, fellas. Apologies for me tardiness. Can't wrap me work. Oi, fellas. Apologies for me tardiness. Cutter had me working late. You know Cutter? <laughs> well, who do you think got me? Oi, fellas. Apologies for me tardiness. Cutter had me working late. You know Cutter? <laughs> well... 
An hour of quiet was all I asked. Instead, I'm awakened not ten minutes later by this cacophonous madness. I expect an explanation, and it had best be good. How? How did this happen? My precious merchandise set free! It's unacceptable! Rest assured, I'll have the heads of those responsible. But first, first we clean up this mess! Seal the fort, kill any who try to escape. I don't care if they be one of us or one of them. To approach the gate is to be made a corpse. Am I understood? Push them back. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
with this, sir! For the order! Interloper. He's the Glad one have you with us. I could use some help. I'll fill it you like a cod. Kill the intruders! All of them! I'll deal with this wretch. He's the one responsible! Kill him! Ah, vile fox. Kill the intruders! All of them! The Order stands united. I'll He's the one you responsible! Like Kill him! Who are you? Name's Haytham Kenway. You don't know me, but I believe the two of you are well acquainted. I made a promise to you, Silas. One I intend to keep. What happens now? We wait. But not for very long, I suspect. It's been several weeks now since we freed the Mohawk prisoners from captivity. I had hoped their leader might make contact, but there's been only silence. My men grow restless. They want to know what comes next, and I do not have an answer. Lee alone remains active, pursuing leads however slight. He stalks the city streets and scouts the bordering woods, hopeful that he might make contact with one of those we saved. There was a woman there that night. It was she who helped the others to safety. If we can find her, I believe I'll have my answers. So, I watch and wait, hopeful that my true mission might finally begin.
Hello, Charles. Any luck finding our mystery woman? Word is she's been stirring up trouble just outside the city in a town called Lexington. Well, then that's where we begin our search. I'll meet you there.
Have you found her? Uh, she's made camp not too far from here. Excellent. Well, the sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this cold. I am afraid I have some bad news, sir. Oh? Braddock is insisting I return to service under him. I've tried to beg off. No doubt he's still angry about losing Pitcairn. To say nothing of the shaming we gave him. Do as he asks. In the meantime, I'll work on having you released. I'm sorry for the trouble. Not your fault. We're too late. Fire's only just been snuffed. Snow recently disturbed. She's close. Bollocks. These tracks are fresh. It must be hers. Seems she took to higher ground. Out of the snow and into the trees. Back. To return to Braddock, Charles, before he grows suspicious. I can handle things from here. But, sir! But nothing! Go! Stop running! I only wish to talk! I am not your enemy! Please just hear me out! God's woman! Only let me speak!
You try my patience, woman! Are you touched in the head? Me? Haytham? I come in peace. Why are you speaking so slow? <sighs> Sorry. What do you want? Well, your name, for one. I'm Gadzi Zio. Well, pleased to meet you. God, God's day. Just call me Zio. Dio. Zio. Dio. Now tell me why it is you're here. Where did you get this? From an old friend. I've only seen such markings in one other place. Where? Well, it is forbidden for me to speak of it. I saved your people. Does this mean nothing to you? Look, I am not the enemy. Close to here, there is a hill. Meet me there, and we'll see if you speak the truth. That town hosts soldiers who seek to drive my people from these lands. They're led by a man known as the Bulldog. Edward Braddock. You know him? He is no friend of mine. Every day, more of my people are lost to men like him. Then I suggest we put a stop to it. Together. What do you propose? That we kill Edward Braddock. But first, we have to find him. I don't trust you. I know. Yet you remain. That I might prove you wrong. It will not happen. So you say. So I know. Yet, I remain. Uh, wait here. A Mohawkman is likely to raise suspicions, if not muskets. This is hardly the first time I've been amongst your people. I can handle myself. I hope so. Can't stand being quartered there. The endless crashing of the waves. The sting of the salt in my eyes. And the goddamn gulls shrieking and shitting everywhere. You're sure that's where we're going? Aye. The Bulldog's putting together another expedition. That's what they're calling them now. Expeditions. Aye. Smart too. Slap a fancy name on something and all evil is excused. There. The endless crashing of the waves, the sting of the salt in my eyes, 
And the goddamn gulls shrieking and shitting everywhere. You're sure that's where we're going? Aye. The Bulldog's putting together another expedition. That's what they're calling them now. Expeditions. Aye. Smart, too. Slap a fancy name on something and all evil is excused. I hear tell the French are readying to move on our positions. Wonder what Braddock intends to do about it. He's already left for the advance camp. I'll wager our little holiday here is just about ended. We'll be marching south before week's end. Oi! Where are you going, Cully? Me? No, the other cock robin. Well, I, uh... I was leaving. Oh? And now? Well, now... I'm going to feed you your teeth. And you were worried I was going to be the problem? You're hurt. Oh, that's nothing. Here. I should stop the bleeding. That wasn't necessary. But thank you. We should move on. Meet me at Braddock's camp when you're ready.
Use the snowstorm to mask your approach. Having second thoughts? Hardly. But I'll have to approach this carefully. Go on then. I'll keep watch from here. Hmm. I can hide in that cart. What's in the wagon? I need a full inventory. As you wish. Uh, let's see. Two barrels of salt, 12 pounds of pork, 10 pounds of beef, 7 dozen eggs, 16 wheels of cheese. None of it French, don't worry. Five bottles of whiskey, a couple dozen new uniforms, boots, and leather for patching, blankets to cart feed for the horses. What else? That's it. That's all there is. Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. One in which they'd now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words, as much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't he see this is unwise? He doesn't fit well with me either. We're far from home with our forces divided. Worse, I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes him careless. It puts the men at risk. I'd rather not be delivering grim news to mothers and widows because the bulldog wanted to prove a point. Where is the general now? Rallying the troops. And then it's on to Fort Duquesne, I assume? Eventually. The march north will surely take time. There's a copy of the plans in the command stand, should you wish to review them. At least this will be ended soon. I tried, John. I know, my friend. I know. That map will surely be of use. I need to find it. Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them.
Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. What news? Braddock has left to rally his troops. They're marching on Fort Duquesne. It'll be a while yet till they're ready, which gives us time to form a plan. No need. We will ambush them here near the river. Go and gather your allies. I will do the same. I will send word when it is time to strike.
the cold, cold ground. Here, here. Hard at work, I see. How did you? <laughs> it is time. We've set up camp to the north. Meet me there. Gentlemen. Let us away. First it was too cold. Now it's too goddamn hot. And humid too. It's a right swamp, I tell you. Say nothing of the mosquitoes. Warm weather and bugs are soon to be the least of our worries. What? You mean the bulldog? Huh. Please. We'll be in that one's beef soon enough and onto the next. Where's your boy Lee gone off to? Returned to finish out his service under Braddock. I imagine the Bulldog's none too pleased after the stunt we pulled. Please to spin a tale of my incompetence and beg forgiveness. He is away with words, especially when it comes to flattery. I expect he'll be welcomed back. With open arms. Which would give us a man inside. Precisely. Enemy. If I have, Charles will sense it first and make his escape. He's more clever than you think. When this is done, I'm taking a week in New York. It's high time I went and saw the sights. Of empty whiskey bottles and women's breeches, no doubt. <laughs> What other kinds of sights is worth seeing? I see you've been busy. All these men are from many different tribes, united in their desire to see Braddock sent away. The Abenaki, the Lenape, the Shawnee. And you? Who do you stand for? Myself. What would you have me do? Well, you'll help the others to prepare. Follow. They come. Everything all right, sir? Just savoring the moment. No doubt, many wonder why it is we've pushed so far west. These are wild lands as yet untamed and unsettled. But it shall not always be so. In time, our holdings will no longer suffice. And that day is closer than you think. We must ensure our people have ample room to grow and further prosper, which means we need more land! The French understand this, and endeavor to prevent such growth. They skirt around our territory, erecting forts and forging alliances, awaiting the day they might strangle us with the noose they've built. This must not come to pass. We must sever the cord and send them back. This is why we ride, to offer them one last chance. The French will leave, or they will die! Now is the time to strike. Wait. To scatter the expedition is not enough. We must ensure that Braddock falls, else he's sure to try again. I'll disguise myself as one of his own and make my way to his side. Your ambush will provide the perfect cover for me to deliver the killing blow.
We await your signal. There, in front of us. Kill them! How could anyone call this forest home? It's all mud. The French pushback, there'll be a lot of opportunities for us up north. Have served, you mean? Sir? You are grateful to have served. <laughs> Edward. Not so fun on the other end of the barrel, is it? Look out! <laughs> Sir! Where are you off to, Edward? I never took you for a coward, Edward. Come on, then! Such arrogance. I always knew it would be the end of you. Is the end of you. Don't. Hurry before he gets away! I said go! I don't deserve this! You're a hypocrite, Haytham! I'm sorry! <laughs> Why, Haytham? Your death opens a door. It's nothing personal. Well, maybe it is a little personal. Been a pain in my ass, after all. But we are brothers in arms. Once, perhaps. No longer. Do you think I've forgotten what you did? All those innocents slaughtered, and for what? It does not engender peace to cut your way to resolution. Wrong. Whether we applied the sword more liberally and more often, the world would be a better place.
than it is today. In this instance, I concur. Farewell, Edward. My part of the bargain, I expect that you will honor yours. Honor me. No. No! You seem disappointed. I thought that I held a key that would open something here. This room is all there is. I expected more. What do they mean? It tells the story of Yotzitzizu, who came into their world and shaped it for what life might come. She had a hard journey, fraught with great loss and peril. But she believed in her children and what they might achieve. And though she is long gone from the physical world, her eyes still watch over us, her ears still hear our words. Her hands still guide us, and her love still gives us strength. You have shown me great kindness, dear. Thank you. I... I should go. Master Kenway, did you find it then? It was not the right place. The others are waiting for you. Gentlemen, please sit. I fear our temple was no more than a painted cave. Although it did contain precursor images and script, which means we are close. Not close enough, it seems. We need to redouble our efforts and expand our order and establish a permanent base here. Although the site eludes us, I am confident we will find it. Truth. Hear, hear. Furthermore, I believe it is time 
we welcome Charles into our fold. He has proven himself a loyal disciple and served unerringly since the day he came to us. He should be able to share in our knowledge and reap all the benefits that such a gift implies. Are any opposed? Very well. Charles, come, stand. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order and all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. Together, we will usher in the dawn of a new world, one defined by purpose and order. Give me your hand. You are a Templar. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the, May the Father of Understanding, understanding guide, us. Guide, us. guide us. Wait, what? You all saw that, right? Wow. Wow, indeed. The key must be the amulet Haytham took from London. We might know what it looks like, but we're no closer to finding it. Desmond, you need to keep going. Hey, he's your ancestor, too. Why don't you hop in the Animus? Really? That's your response? It's like dealing with a six-year-old. What is wrong with you, Desmond? You want to know what's wrong? I'm sick of being treated like I'm not even here. Desmond, do this. Desmond, do that. Desmond, you better figure things out because the sun is going to turn us all to ash. And I know I was really nice to you, but actually I'm just another Templar plot twist. And yes, I would like very much for you to be controlled by a magic space wizard so that you can murder me. So there's your answer. I'm sick of being a goddamn pawn. I thought it might be different with you. I mean, you're my father, but turns out you're no better than the fucking Templars. Don't you ever equate me to those bastards again. You hear me? Everything I do, everything I have done, has been for you. Maybe I pushed a little too hard, asked a little too much, but try and remember exactly what's at stake here. You need to get it together, kid. We're running out of time. Right. That was unusual. Well, I'm just going to pretend that this never happened and get back to bringing everyone up to speed on where we stand. The news isn't good. It appears this temple is powered by a collection of, um, well, I guess they're batteries. You found one on your way in, but there aren't any more, at least not down here. Any idea on where we can find replacements? Not yet, so I intend to tiptoe into the Abstergo database. Now, if I can cross-reference these particular devices with their database, then maybe we'll get lucky. See what you can do. Obviously. Anyway, Desmond, you can either take a look around here or we can head back to the Animus. Goes. Nek zi ohondo yo ha wihtun ya de ha ganerakwe. Zi nuera o jokwa templar al guego tadinya rodarhox. Ne on ha at getsanis. Zi got get soon a rian a higunsa gandanu a got gato zi ne saga raskanex.
it one day star. Hmm. Onisa Jerha. Ya Otana Gwanek Gwanek. Radunagedu, the what did it do Nyana? Runajagedu another ratu than Yoko Dunis. How was Nexi Dosa easy Nakahonda di Yahaze? Do you know what's stargate? Guardy? 